from it or force that air dodge and then immediately just go for those up tilts and just catch him in that fox vortex but you know ken definitely has the experience as you said before he knows what to do against this matchup so it's gonna be really interesting to see how charlie is gonna adapt to his playstyle right now mm -hmm. So where are we going to be starting out? Smashville, of course. Why not even ask the question, G-Pick? I mean, we always ask. It's a tradition, just like Smashville's a tradition. Exactly. But here we go into game one. Charlie tossing out the single laser. But look at that. Ken, on point, knows exactly what's coming. And already, Charlie recognizes you're in the air. This is this is where I'm at my strongest. I like that. Trying to threaten with those down airs. But even better option chosen by Ken. Going with the aggressive fair to go ahead and knock him out. And I like that, that boldness of just walking up and grabbing Kensu. That's a, that's a good set uh, tempo to set in the very beginning of the set, saying, Oh hey, my, you know Charlie! Please. Charlie's still gonna be okay! And he Char makes it back Charlie's on. just trying to take that stock away with the quickness. He's like, you know what? I know Sonic's, you know, they, they like to be a little defensive. Let me, let me just make this a quick match. I, I love these run-up. Walk up, just calm grabs those, showing absolute confidence to Ken, saying, Hey, you're gonna need to start picking proactive options against me. I am not afraid to get in your face and grab you. Look at that again. Charlie's just coming up with all of these nares as we were talking about a little before. Dash attack again. I like that from Kendo. Not giving him an air dodge. Just jumping away out of harm's way and then still punishing him. <gasps> Ken with the positioning though. Already ready to punish the side B. That was just a little off the mark. Unable to get the full punish that he wanted. And look at that. Ken understands that even after that down air, no, Fox is pretty safe. Yes, you have to guess what he's going to do. Not even dealing with it. Keep landing him with that forward smash. Already so fast, but here's the thing, Charlie can totally make up this difference. 90% is death percent to a good fox. And he stays calm too, just stays in his corner. Try, like, even though Ken doesn't have to approach, Charlie recognizes the fact that Ken still wants to. So he's still able to get away with playing defensive, even though he has no right to. No, and Ken, right now, since he is there at a high percent playing very defensive, not giving Charlie any opening really to get him. Especially when he's here, here on the Smashville platform. He is just sitting back and chilling. He's just like, alright, no, Charlie, I know you want me to try to roll you. I know you want me to move up whatsoever. Because Charlie's tossing out those back airs immediately, not giving it to him, though. Beautiful air dodge read off of that down tilt. Yeah, that was some really clean stuff. Stuff. Charlie doing a really great job mixing up whether or not he's going for it immediately or not. Right, now Charlie principally tossing a couple of these down airs and just running back and forth. I love the neutral play between these two players at the moment. Yeah, so patient right now, and that's the punish, sir, punish you're talking about. Just nair out of shield the moment you're done blocking some of Sonic's, Sonic shenanigans. Alright, now again, a single lit. <laughs> tossing out the jabs, trying to look like Captain Falcon right now. And I like that too, because it's, tr it's trying to coax Ken into spin dashing into him, which is happening. And Charlie is finding these moments, trying to get him in the air, trying to guess the angle that Ken is going once he's up there. Yeah, no, but he, Charlie has to be careful whenever he's guessing from the spin dashes on his shield. Right there, he went for the upper and immediately ate that backer. At later percents, yo, this man might lose his stock. Yeah. So definitely something he has to keep in mind. And look at that, another backer coming off from Ken. Now Charlie sitting at 90%, has to be careful. So close to landing that pivot grab, though. I think at this percent he will be fine to back throw, but not for much longer. He tried to throw in a little bit of a laser there to catch Ken as he was stalling off stage, but ends up eating a spin dash for it. There we go, just... Ah, that's a nice punish on the jab and waits for the air dodge to solid damage. Tries to get the fastball fair. Tex is on deck, you know, you can never count out Charlie the King. When he's on stage, he's definitely gonna go ahead and get that tech. Look at that. Ken not even pushing a button, but back finally getting that kill. grab. Oh, man. Yeah. Dang, that, that was just gone. Yo, Charlie wasn't even trying to DI. He's like, yo, it's yeah. fine. You know, I got a next game. <laughs> I, I, I feel I, like he, I don't need he DI'd with it. It's just uh -huh. like, let's move on. Just, just DI down, dog. <laughs> 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 just lose that stock quicker. But, I mean, at, at that very end point, like, Charlie, when he found that advantage situation, he was really going in really nicely on Ken. It's just unfortunately that, that down air call out not, uh, was read by Ken, he was ready to punish it with that back throw, ending his life. But I think Charlie, given a best of five set, we can see better and better results from him as it goes on. Yep. No, honestly, what I do want to see from Charlie is kind of just allow Ken to come into you. Let oh, no. He's, he's going to die. He's too deep. <gasps> no, what? he's not. You know what? Why are we doubting Foxy Fox McCloud? This man... It's a pilot. Exactly. He flies for a living. He's always going to stick his landing. I mean, yo, that, that move's called the Firefox for a reason. Why? Because it doesn't crash? Yeah, exactly. Actually, Firefox crashes all the time. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Mozilla. Alright, finally landing himself another up air to go for a back air preemptively for Ken spin dash attempt, but Ken actually just waited out the hitbox himself. Uh, yeah, Ken now also doing a great job on his follow-ups, waiting for air dodges, sometimes not, finding these openings for his back airs. 
Well, he's catching Charlie slipping right now. He is basically kind of just baiting him. He's like, no, Charlie, I know you're going to go and try to hit me right off the bat. Mm -hmm. Expecting some type of air drop, expecting some type of defensive option. Ken just being very aggressive, tossing out these back or any type of aerial, really keeping Charlie on his toes. Oh, the short hop over the forward smash! Wow! Oh, I like that get up attack to go ahead and just get Charlie off of him. And Ken still just mixing it up. Anytime Ken finds himself with something that it was that like it was safe on shield and he's running away, he's instantly just retreating to the ledge. So I hope Charlie just catches on to that. Maybe able to go ahead and catch him right there. And yep, just like that. Back air. Still alive though, and no, but Ken's not gonna be able to make it. He lost his uh, double jump. I'm surprised he didn't try to up a little bit early. I don't think he himself even realized he didn't have his jump. Okay, so just up airing through the spring, not even trying to deal with it. Single laser coming up from Charlie. Patience right now by, by Charlie to trying to get a good lead trap going. Doesn't come together. Ken makes it back on stage, and Charlie immediately disengages. No, I mean, the triplats really helping him out. Uh, just limiting the options of landing for Ken. Because when Ken's getting all these spin dashes, where is he going to be going after? That's why he's retreating to the ledge a lot more, and Charlie finally is adapting to that. Yeah, and the thing is, if he if he ends up near any of those platforms, that he is trapped with a Fox up there, because there's no way you can air dodge through a platform. It's just dead space. Yo, Ken, please! I love what he's doing right there at the ledge. He's just kind of, I think he's doing side B or down B, I'm not sure. But he's doing that spin dash right there at the ledge, canceling it, and then immediately just going up with those back airs to turn around. Mm -hmm. And doing so just enough times he was able to mix up Charlie, take that stock finally. Charlie still with the lead. Ooh, I like a little frog shot to trace the tick. Doesn't come together. Yeah, unfortunately, Charlie got the, the, uh, the sliding animation. I'm pretty sure he wanted some type of tilt right there, but mm -hmm. hey, nonetheless, that is just some good pressure being put on so far. It's the second time that's happened this set. Ken just going for these jabs, and Charlie's immediately falling out. I'm not sure if he's holding down or what. He is a fast faller, so I could I could actually believe him just holding down and being able to fall out of it. I mean, a lot of foxes are adapting to that when they know these weak weak hits that are getting them. Why not just hold down? You're gonna land back onto the ground, and you have an opportunity to go ahead and either punish or you know just shield the rest of the jab combo or whatever is hitting you to get away. Back here, almost coming together off that dash attack, just a little bit misaligned. And he charges that forward smash, he doesn't get it though, looks like it's the sour spot. Ken's One still alive. Uh, Ken nah. retreating to the top platform, Charlie just threatening so much with a whole couple of these aerials. He got there we go! And the tech roll back, that is what you do not want to do against the Fox, but you know, that Ken was lost in no man's land. Yeah, that's so hard, because Fox can go ahead and react to all tech options right there. Yeah. Either you tech in place, you tech roll out, you tech roll in, Fox needs to stop and go ahead and catch you. Yeah, yeah, uh, VG Bootcamp, Gamer put out a video about that. Especially if he's got his headphones in and he's listening to the game sound, <laughs> he can actually react to that situation. And, like, especially when, when it came to that roll backwards, the moment, like, because Charlie kept chasing and you see that tech roll, Charlie's already knowing, up smash, I won this game. So, guys, uh, as you just heard, you know, make sure, wear your headphones, listen to the game. Yes. <laughs> It's actually, it improves your reaction time. This is science, guys. You can look it up. All right, but here we go. Into game three. Uh, Battlefield going to be the pick this time around. Uh, I'm not sure if just, you know, Dreamland itself was just a little annoying for him, you know, wispy in the way. But, hey, he still wants to keep up with these triplets. And so far, it is working out for him. 73, 87 to 6 right now. I do know triplats isn't something that like inherently is bad for Sonic. I know a lot of Sonic players actually do enjoy the layout. It's just more Dreamland with the you know normal size ceiling when you combine oh it with the no, triplats. The spring ends up catching him. He's still alive. And he, this is going to be a re-grab. And Charlie knows he tries to follow the jump over the the edge. He doesn't find it though. All right, finally that jab combo landing for Ken and the back air still not going to go ahead and take that stock. Very close though. Forward smash. And I like the way that Ken angle it down. He wants that whole hitbox to be at that ledge. And as you guys know, or if you don't know, Battlefield's ledges are very wonky, so that's very effective. Yeah, they're they're very thin, and there's there's some strange properties where hitboxes can actually kind of like translate into the slant itself. It's I can't even describe it. Oh, Ganon Dare is the funnest move to do right there. <laughs> Everyone just gets evaporated by it. But you know, speaking of evaporation, you know, that back air almost getting it. Uh, Charlie looking like he got some condensation going on, but hey, never mind, he evaporated. <laughs> <laughs> he's going through the whole water cycle. You see, he just rained down from the clouds, too. Yeah, I mean, he's looking like a pond right now, honestly. <laughs> but here we go, Ken. You know, canceling out a couple of these spin finally going in. You canceled it right in front of him. Excuse me, Charlie, not ready for that option. Yeah, th that's the one thing I've noticed. Charlie hasn't been ready to respond to uh, when Ken goes for a ground spin dash option. So, like, when Ken turns around in spin dash, during that entire turnaround animation, Sonic has no hitbox. You can challenge that with anything. 
I like that delay from Ken. Kind of just waited Charlie out to land back onto the, onto the really the bottom off the platform. Hit him out of the side B right there. So really good stuff. Ken just mixing up when he's going with the side B's or the down B's. Oh, tries to spot dodge, expecting a pivot grab instead. A jab combo comes out. Good forward throw. I love Charlie at the ledge. Usually he does very, he does really effective work because when he's there, he's very patient. He'll either mm -hmm. go for the forward smash or he'll react to what option you pick and immediately just go for those up tilts. Yep, just like that. Nice DI away by Ken to make that back air as hard as possible to connect. See, Ken is just rocking to the percent that he can right now. He's not going for anything oh! too risky, but as I say that, wind it up, let it out. You know, it looks like a jack in the box right there. <laughs> you, were, you were saying, as you are saying, not going for anything risky. Yo, and I like, feel like, like, I'll feel show like, you risky. Yo, Ken probably can hear me, honestly. He's just like, yo, Mio, that's a great idea. Why not just charge up a forward speed? Hey, you can't take the credit. And if you're taking the credit, that means you coached him. True. Yeah. You know hey, Charlie won. <laughs> no, that's a DQ. That's a I don't DQ. know. Would that, would that be a minor offense? A major? Man, I, 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 there's there's no I there's know. no protocol in place for commentators for right? that. You know, TLTC, where are you at? You know, <laughs> let, let us know how you know. Like, what's gonna happen there? The rule set needs some revisions. <laughs> anyway, we're going right back on Battlefield. Charlie, not losing faith in the stage. No, and I don't believe it was the stage as well. Charlie wasn't even doing too bad. And he just had a really tough time trying to pin Ken down, and Ken was doing a. The equally solid job of knowing how Charlie wants to escape from certain situations. You know what? I actually just had a thought. Go on. Since Charlie won on Dreamland, Ken won on Battlefield. They are considered two in the same. So yeah. couldn't Charlie went back to Dreamland? Yeah, he could have. Um, he chose not to, and that's the yeah. interesting thing. Like, uh, yeah, because you can you can DSR and ban the stage that your opponent last one on. So okay. he could. So Ken had that option. Oh, this time Charlie gets that tech. Yeah, Charlie's just going a little bit too deep. Gonna have to go ahead and just eat that punisher quick, but hey, a lot of all spaces know they have to go ahead and push that trigger button so they can hold on to that stock. And I like that from Kent just immediately retreating with that spring. No, he's using the speed, just running away. And, oh my goodness, yo, that the run up instant spin dash. Yo, there was no charge, no nothing. Yeah, I mean, at the same time, that running reverse pivot laser to hit him too, that was both, both some nice stuff. <laughs> Both these players just showing out right now, going for another forward smash, almost catching that roll from Charlie, but still not going to land. Charlie's footwork, though. Like, look at this move, ground movement. It's it's crazy. Oh, going to get clipped right there, but, you know, Charlie immediately just putting up that shield, and Ken's just really making him work for it. Ken, again, looking to cover that edge, and being able to cover that jump getup with the jumping back air, and then still punish the side B. Really clean stuff. Forwarder coming out from Charlie, still trying to keep up this pressure by himself, but Ken able to go ahead and retreat after a couple of the up airs. Oh no, he went for that nair and kind of just guessed wrong in that situation. Ken immediately just getting away. He still has Ken now once again with that stage control, this time unable to punish the side B. Charlie immediately buffers the dash to escape from that situation, remembering what happened last time. Well, Charlie has to be careful. I think an up throw might be able to go ahead and take that stock away, but a hey, back throw definitely gonna do it this time around, right there at the ledge, sitting at 170. I, 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 it's cheeky, and like Sonic's have been doing it for years, but I still love how they leave a spring under the Angel platform. Just as a little bit of annoyance, like I can't hurt you, I can frustrate <laughs> you. It's like, yo, dog, you're gonna, you're just gonna ride the spring real quick. Like, I, I'm gonna let you into my life. You know, I gotta go on these springs for like 20 years. You're gonna be a part of it too. He's still on them in Sonic Mania, man. No, Sonic Mania is so a great game. If you haven't played it, yo, shout out to that. Nope, Charlie ready for the forward air attempt this time around, just shooting it all the way, and a back air, sending Ken right back out. And Charlie, ooh, I like that, went for the getup attack, expecting Ken to hold down there. Mm. Alright, both of them just waiting each other out again. I just love this neutral play from both of these players. Char oh, oh doesn't get it, he reads the air dodge though, but Ken flubs the punish, and this gives CDK another opening, doesn't get it though. No, immediately, I... Ken is just so good at what he's doing. He's racking on the percent, and it just immediately I'm resets smash. the neutral. But, yo, beautiful punisher that coming off from Charlie. It's, like, it's one of those those classic two pieces that, that Fox says. He has a whole menu, a whole value menu of two piece deals. He definitely has a $5 box. You know, you get two sides and a biscuit. That's crazy. Two stocks and a handshake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but again, ooh, good up tilt. Interrupting the narrative from Ken. And, you know, a laser for his troubles as well. 
But Charlie himself is playing this a lot more patient than he has in the past, you know, three games. Understanding that if he overextends, he's eating a lot of percent. I really would like to see Charlie call out those spin dash turnarounds, though, because every single time Ken does it, it's not safe, and Fox has the speed to run in and punish it. Up throw, into the up air, another spring. No, Ken just, again, resetting this neutral and understanding he's just going to get what he can, not trying to overextend whatsoever. And honestly, this is just what makes Ken so good. He knows what he can get. And then, you know, I don't know if it's just like a Japanese thing, because a lot of them are just optimal. They mm -hmm. get whatever they can, and then they kind of just sit back. They're just like, all right, cool. I, un I understand. They, they, they back off immediately. They go back to playing the very patient game. And then when they get in, they push that punish to the fullest extreme. Charlie trying to come up with a couple of these up airs, understanding that, you know, we have almost a minute and a half left. Has to kind of speed up this process. At the same time, though, I mean, with the amount of rage that Fox has, this is a triplat level. There's some crazy things that can happen with the right opening. Oh my god, Ken trying oh, to come up with the there we quickest go. trump, but still not going to get it, though. Look at that percent already, 81%. We're getting really close to death percent to some Fox stuff, even if it is Battlefield. Oh, nice patience, and almost punishes the F-Smash just a moment too late. And here we go, Charlie having to use his double jump, makes it back to the stage, but gets caught in the jump from ledge by Ken's back air. Didn't and even matter that he was able to come back, still gonna eat that punish, and Ken moving on through bracket with a 3-1 victory over Charlie. Just the patience by Ken at the very end there too, where he's just, he's standing at the ledge, he's not doing anything, he's not trying to get a two frame, not trying to get a stage back, he just stands, 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 and he just knows the moment he touches the ledge, he's gonna wanna get off as fast as possible and get back to the stage, and he just called out, he's gonna jump the moment he grabs, and he just jumped him back here and caught him. Very, very clean stuff. I mean, Charlie was able to take a game this time, mm -hmm. so it is it is a sign of improvement, but... It's a work in progress. It, it is a work in progress. This is the best Sonic. Like, you're, it's going to take more than just one set to be able this to get him Ken. figured out. Like, it, this it's is Ken. Yeah. Ken... That's all we have to say. Ken, I, I, I believe him to be, like, one of the most underrated players. Like, if, if not, like, the but most... And that's only just because yeah. he mostly plays in Japan. He doesn't often come to the States, but yeah. when he does, he is a force to be reckoned with. He he always just loses to whoever gets first and second at the event, but he, like, places fifth. Mm -hmm. So, like, he doesn't get third, even though he's kind of got third yeah. at all of these places. But that was then. We're moving on into our next set, which we got elegant. We yeah, recognize. We, you know, uh, extended NorCal yeah. coming out. He, he's visited <laughs> our, our region a few times, back and back. You know, he is the most chill dude. Yeah. Although he has very weird eating habits. <laughs> what? When we were at Denny's, you know, okay, let me, let me roast this little boy. Uh, so we were at Denny's, okay. and it was the funniest 